Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with a very special sneak peek review of a new film that's coming out this weekend. Jo I'm here with Josh, of course. Introduce yeah. yourself, Josh. I'm here. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> and we watched what? We had a special sneak preview Marcus move mystery movie. This is the first time they're doing this once a month. What was the movie that we got to see tonight? Um, the movie that we watched tonight was called Boy Kills World. I had never heard of it. Yes, this is actually directed by a guy named Moritz Moore, which is his first film, I guess, first directorial feature film, according to IMDb and Wikipedia. And the stars Bill Skarsgård, um, whoever the dude is who's the voice of Archer, if anyone watches that cartoon, it's got who else is in this fucking movie it seems like there's a lot of faces you recognize but you don't exactly remember what their names are like Fomka Jansen is in this uh, good to see that she's still getting work and uh, yeah Josh we're going to split this up into kind of like a non-spoiler portion so this opening if people are checking out Outpost Unknown and you're getting the special sneak peek of, wow they got to see this movie first are they going to spoil it we won't spoil the this first part here but we'll give you a notification when we're about to talk any spoilers so Josh uh, give the just the broad overview of kind of this film oh. the basic bare bones of what it's I I'm going to fuck this up but uh, basically it's it uh, is about a um, a uh, boy whose family uh, gets um, killed, and uh, he is uh, raised and taught uh, basically to be an assassin by this shaman. And uh, when the time uh, comes when he grows up, he seeks revenge on um, this uh, woman, I guess, who uh, who killed his family. Is that is that okay? Was that all right? Is that basic? That was super yeah, basic. Right? Yeah, this. Yeah, th yeah, yeah. This is your your classic revenge tale, right? I mean, th this is like if you've seen Kill Bill, you know the story of this movie. <laughs> It's, it's, you know, or if you've seen any sort of like Chinese Kung Fu film from the 80s, you know exactly what this film is. Um, but then it goes into some twists and turns later on that we'll get mm -hmm. to in the spoiler section. So, uh, Josh, tell me what you liked about Boy Kills World. Okay, so what I, 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 I did like that um, if you can get through the first, like, I don't know, third of the film, like once the action starts, it, it, it keeps up pretty well. So it moves pretty, it moves pretty good. Um, and so I liked that. And I didn't, you know, I didn't think Bill Skarsgård was like bad, but it's, it's kind of also hard to judge. Uh, Cause he wasn't given a lot. So um, he know, doesn't, speak. he doesn't speak at all. Um, and listen, as a, a fan of somebody or, or somebody that is a fan of, like, I'm a fan of the Kill Bill films, and this reminded me a lot of of those films. Um, and, yeah. and so, like I said, the action, I said once it started, I thought it kept up pretty well. Okay, is that all you liked? Really, that's about it. <laughs> if I'm being honest. <laughs> if I'm being honest. No, it's really, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that's fair, I think. And I guess the, the thing that I liked about the film was I think that it did have, it, I think Bill Skarsgård did good, do, did good, I can't even speak, did do a really good job for not having any lines at all. He's, he's deaf and he's mute. And so he has to emote a lot with his face. And Bill Skarsgård has a very unique looking face and big eyeballs that he can, you know, when the camera gets in, he can really kind of emote with his face. I thought he did a well enough job with that. Um, I just like you, I'm struggling to find, I'll say straight up, everyone, this is not my kind of movie. Mm -mm. Um, I was actually thinking about this when I, when I got home, I'm like, this is a Jeff movie. Our friend Jeff here on the outpost unknown YouTube channel, he's going to love the hell out of this movie. I this, is, this is something for him. There, there's a lot of comedy in this. It's like an action comedy. Um, even though Bill Skarsgård is mute, there is like this, 
I guess, voiceover narration <sighs> that he, it's the guy who, who does Archer's voice, I think. And he kind of narrates what he's thinking as he's doing these action scenes. There's a few funny little things like he reads the lips, but there's, there's a character where he can't understand the lip reading. And so, you know, it'll show like the guy, it'll say him mo- just saying gibberish and then what Bill Skarsgård sees in his mind uh, as to interpreting that gibberish. I thought that was kind of clever and unique. So I like that kind of aspect to it. I thought the little girl who was in it was really good. Mm -hmm. Um, I thought she was, she was cool. Uh, But yeah, like you, I struggled to find things in this that I really thought were like good. So what, what didn't you like? Okay. Well, I mean, so (sighs) I, I'm not a big fan of like like I understood the whole like Bill Skarsgård's character didn't talk he was mute all that shit I hated all that narration all of it and I understand they have to like yeah. they have to give him stuff they have to give him something they have to give him a thought process and I and I get that but movies driven by narration I fucking hate that stuff so much um, so I, I I didn't dig on that at all. Um, I thought, like, it took too long to just get going. Like, the first 15, 20 minutes, maybe, is just narration. That's all it is. It's just uh, watching the shaman and, and you know, teach the boy uh, how to become this, you know, killer. But it's all just driven by nar- narration. And it was driving me crazy. I was like, let's just... And maybe it's my ADD. I don't know what it, what it, what it is, but I could not. I just kept waiting for something to just get going, um, and and I was getting, I was getting bored really quick in that movie, and uh, and even like you know halfway three quarters of that movie, I was kind of ready for it to be over. Um, I was I was kind of over that movie really quick. Um, it, it just, it was a yeah. little too uh, anime for me, if that makes sense. It was a little too cartoony for me. Uh-huh. Um, everything yeah. just kind of reminded me of just like, you know, it, this is going to sound like, you know, like I'm countering myself or whatever, but it had this Kill Bill kind of like feel to it. It also had this like feel of like Sin City to me a little bit, but it was like really cartoony also for me. And uh, I just wasn't digging on a whole lot of the the look of that movie just me no i i agree with you 100 percent. this is it it was super goofy and cartoony and the the especially the opening 15 20 minutes they go right for comedy like just straight out the gate the narration is like comedic in nature so it kind of reminded me of some sort of like honestly like a, a bad 90s comedy with like Saturday Night Live alums or something in it. It just, it didn't feel the tone didn't feel right from the jump for me personally. Now again, I'm not into these types of like goofy comedy sort of things. So like I said, our friend Jeff, it's gonna he's gonna love it. You know, there's plenty of people that are gonna love like this type of thing. Mm -hmm. It's just not me. But I did think it was way too fucking long this story is bare bones there's really nothing to it you know it's hey i want to get revenge for what happened to my family and i'm just gonna like kill everybody on the way Uh, i'd rather watch any john wick movie over something like this it's just you know it's it's just it it was like i don't know and the the way it was shot was also a big problem for me because John Wick has a very simple story. Um, you know, it's a man who's on a quest for vengeance for the against the people who killed his puppy dog. That's very sort of like a universal sort of thing. But the action in like a John Wick movie is very, not only is it elaborately staged choreography wise, but it's a lot of single take shots. It's a lot of like, you can see the action that's occurring. This is the kind of movie where the action is camera is shaking all over the place, flying around people. You're seeing like close ups of like, there's tons and tons of gore in this too. Mm-hmm. So if you're, if you're someone who loves gore, tons of gore, you're going to see heads smashed and arms chopped off and everything. Um, but the filming style of this was so frenetic that 
it took me out of it completely. I, you know, I, I'm just watching an action sequence here. It's lasting for five minutes straight. And I'm like, I would much rather be watching this as part of a John Wick movie where I can see everything that's going on. Right. And my brain is not bouncing all over. Like what the fuck is who, Who's this guy he's killing? Who, who's that guy? So, uh, I didn't like that. We can get into this in the spoiler section when they get there. I figured out one of the main twists immediately. Immediately, uh, yeah. So much so that I, I leaned over to Josh. I was like, it better not be this. <laughs> it better not be this. And that was what? Probably 20 minutes in the movie when this character first shows up. It's like, okay, you know exactly where this is like, going. Um, so, yeah. yeah you, I, like, I, you, at point, you leaned over. Go ahead. You, like, you like leaned over. You're like... You leaned over and you're like, I bet it's this. And then when that moment happened, I saw your head just like bow and like sink. Like you knew that you guessed it and you were bummed out that you guessed it. <laughs> I was just like, I was like, I can't believe yeah. it. I can't believe he like, yeah, yeah called it. It, it, it. it wasn't, it wasn't really hard to figure that because it's so obvious to me. Uh, maybe other people will sort of be, kind of shocked by it but it, it was just so obvious the way that they were setting everything up but um yeah overall i didn't like the humor i don't think i laughed once during this movie now that's not something that people who know me know that comedy is not my thing so i will sit there stone faced through the greatest comedian on planet earth um i i don't i don't like comedy really in movies and stuff like that and so this I didn't find the humor funny. I didn't like the action, how it was shot. I thought it was long and kind of tedious. I just didn't like it. I did not like Boy Kills yeah. World. Um, if I'm going to have to give sort of, before we go into spoilers, uh, be, if I'm going to have to give a final rating to this for me personally, I'm going to give this like a D plus. I okay. was not a fan of this film. Um, but again, there are going to be people out there that really like it. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, what 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 rating scale for Boy Kills World? Yeah, I was right there with you. I was on that that D plus line as well. Uh, yeah, I think that's I think that's very fair. Like I like you said, there's this movie is for somebody. It's for somebody for sure. There's yeah. there's gonna be people that really dig on this film. And in fairness, I did chuckle a few times. There was a couple lines I was like, okay, you got me. Um, but uh. All those lions that did get me reminded me a lot of like um, I was like Deadpool would say that kind of shit. So um, uh, yeah, it, it, there's definitely a couple of, of, of uh, laughs in there for me. But um, yeah, D plus is probably fair. Okay. okay, so D plus, we both had D pluses. Uh, we'll talk a little bit of a little bit of spoilers now. So if you are listening to this review, go you. Stop it right here and come back to it after you've watched the movie. But we fair warning, everyone. We are going to talk some spoilers. Here's your five-second warning. Five, four, three, two, one. It's your own fault if you're spoiled. Um, the, the, <laughs> the, the big thing was the sister. Yeah. Right. So there's a whole there's a whole thing in this where um, his sister was killed and he's kind of like seeing her. I don't know if it's like a manifestation of his his imagination or mm-hmm. whatever, but he's seeing his little sister talk to him throughout this entire movie. There is a character that shows up about twenty minutes in, and she's like this badass number twenty seven chick. In, yes, badass ninja chick in in the motorcycle helmet, very Kill Bill ish. Yeah, um, and that was the moment I'm like that that that's the sister. I mean, you could see it coming from a mile away. As soon as she showed up, I'm just like, oh, fuck. I already know how this is going to end. Now, to be fair, there was a uh, another twist at the end that I hadn't, I wasn't even thinking about. Mm-mm. And that was, he. it turns out that this woman that he's trying to murder, who's like the head of this family, uh, turns out to be his mom as well. And then we get the flashback of that, the, the shaman sort of, brainwashed him like he his mom made him kill the the shaman's family and then the shaman basically kidnaps him and brainwashes him into believing that his mom actually killed his imaginary mom and then trains him to 
be this assassin to go take out to get revenge on his family for murdering right. him. And so I wasn't even, and Fomka Jansen plays, plays the main head of the family here. And I wasn't even thinking about her cause she's in the movie for like five minutes right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> until the very end. Not at all. Yeah. And so it wasn't even, wasn't in your face. Like, like the ninja girl was. Um, so what, anything in the, anything in the spoiler side of things that you liked or did not like Josh? Uh, I mean, I, look, I liked the little twist at the end because I, I, I uh, you know, I I feel like I wonder if that was when they were writing, if that was an original thought or if he wrote himself into some like just shit corner and was like, I got to throw some twisty shit in here or this is just not going to work. Um, but I, I, you know, the, the twist I didn't see coming just like you. Honestly, I didn't call the sister if you would have been like. If you wouldn't have said that, I would have been like, holy shit. Um, but, uh, um, <laughs> sorry. I, I, sorry, I ruined it. No, no, I don't really care. Uh, again, I didn't like it enough to where you, you saying that ruined anything for me, to be honest with you. Uh, I, I was going to go back again, not spoiler, but I, I will, I, I also want to give a little bit of a, a credit for the last maybe 10, 15 minutes of that movie where it, it really picks up and, um, they have that whole hallway, sh- like that whole hallway fight, um, where the, him and the sister are just like guns blazing. Uh, and I'm trying to go back and again, I've already forgotten enough of it, but that kind of was done. There wasn't a lot of cuts in that fight, right? They, they, if it wasn't like one shot, but I also don't feel like there's a lot of cuts in it. And so I really enjoyed the, I did enjoy that last fight and then the fight with the shaman. I thought that was actually kind of cool. Um, and uh, I feel like the gore yeah, I don't know. I don't know in, the, the in the movie, sa- the, the gore saved this movie for me. Uh, I'm a gore, ha- a gore hound. Okay. So I like the gory stuff. And I felt like all the blood and all the gore kind of saved the movie a little bit for me. Um, but nothing in the spoilers that I was like, you know, again, super like crazy impressed with or, or anything I, I couldn't tell you another spoiler beyond the and the, the sister and the mom yeah and it, it reminds me of gosh, various other things like the hunger games maybe a little purge in there because the whole thing that this family does is they do this culling which is they grab like 12 people every year and then execute them live on television so they can I guess, maintain order in this weird city that they run. It's very unclear. It's not really explained what this family is there for. Like, why are they doing this? They just like a generic totalitarian society, I guess. Um, I thought that some of the characters, at least the, the different family members had very divergent sort of personalities to them. And I, I did like the fact that the, the different family members they're all evil but then they all kind of hate each other as well (laughs) and they're all kind of trying to backstab each other and kind of let this guy go through and and kill different ones so i kind of like that aspect to it one thing i thought was weird was there was such a heavy emphasis on the narration aspect for the first half of this movie and Mm -hmm. then the last third of it there's barely any at all. And I felt it was super jarring that you have this like goofy comedic constant narration and then almost nothing in the last, the last third of the movie. Uh, it just felt totally weird. There, there's weird tonal shifts all over the place. Uh, with oh, this 100%. Movie, but, yeah. yeah it's... Oh yeah. Overall, this just wasn't for me. I, you know, again, I'll reiterate, there's going to be lots of people that like this. People who love just cor- kind of cartoony, crazy kung fu action. I will say, whoever that, that guy is who played the shaman, uh, I feel like he had to have been in, like, The Raid or something like that. Because this guy, I mean, he's a badass martial artist. I mean, that, that final fight scene between, like, the three of them, uh, because, spoiler, eventually the, the sister... Uh, turns on the mom and then the brother and the sister are sort of back together again and they fight this shaman that was a cool fight sequence i will say that um the hallway sequence i do feel like there's a lot of cuts in it it reminded me very much of like the matrix sort of thing okay 
Um, but, but, uh, but yeah, the fight with the shaman w- was cool because it looked like actual kung fu or, or whatever was, right. was taking place there. And, right. and I did think that was a kind of a cool battle. Uh, Brett Gilman uh, played the brother. Um, the guy that's like the, he writes all the speeches and shit. Uh, that oh, guy yeah. was, that was my favorite character probably in the movie. And really, as soon as he came on screen, I was like, he's from Stranger Things. And I love him in Stranger Things. And he's like nearly oh, the exact, right. yeah, he's nearly the exact character like sarcasm wise and witty wise as he is in Stranger Things. So I did enjoy, I did enjoy him as well. Yeah, Charlotte Charlotte Copley plays the I guess his step brother. Um, he of course is in District Nine. That was kind of uh, the film that he was big in many many years ago. Good actors all around in the movie. I just feel like this was so zany and over the top and yeah. frantic and hectic and kinetic and bouncing all over the place that I was in with comedy. I didn't like just just wasn't for me yeah it wasn't for me but there you have it ladies and gentlemen that's uh, outpost unknowns exclusive review of boy kills world so if you're out there if you happen to be clicking on this review hit that like and subscribe button because uh they're gonna have a marcus mystery movie every month i'm gonna try to hit them just to sort of see uh what they are we we think we might have a a kind of an idea of how they're gonna do this um it seems like we may have cracked the code. Go ahead, go ahead. We may have cracked the code on the Marvel What's the mystery code? movies. So, turns out, because Matt called this before we even walked into the theater. He's like, I bet it's this movie. You kind of guessed it. <laughs> and then true. I got home, and I was like, this movie comes out this Friday. And um, so, apparently, if you, all you got to do is look at the uh, mis- or find out when the mystery movie's coming out look at the rating and then find out what's coming out on the Friday before that mystery or after that mystery movie. And you'll probably guess what movie they're playing. Yeah. And they even give you the running time. So yeah, it's going to be pretty, but we'll test it. I'll see what the movie is next month and I'll, I'll do it again. And uh, we'll see if this, if this code has been cracked as they say. But uh, yeah, hit that like and subscribe. Uh, We'll be doing some more reviews. I got a bunch of stuff I'm seeing. I'm seeing uh, Abigail tomorrow. Josh is going to be there as well. Maybe we'll review that. Um, I'm going to be watching Godzilla versus Kong or whatever. And I'm going to go see Civil War. So I'm going to I'm going to I'm having a movie week. And so a bunch of new reviews coming up here on Outpost. And so stay tuned, everybody. Thanks again. Have a good night.